PNAA, Philippine Nurses Association of America, is so excited to announce the Rise Up podcast. Rise Up is about real issues and stories about every one of us podcasts. It's weekly podcast in which we have amazing conversations with frontliners, researchers, and members in the medical field. You know, I isolated myself. I didn't go anywhere. And so I'm surprised that I have COVID. And I said to her, okay, so did you have a baby shower? And she said, yeah, I had a baby shower at my house, right? And I said, okay, so did all, you know, did you have visitors come to your house for your baby shower? And she said, yeah, of course, it's a baby shower. And so, you know, I think sometimes um, we do take precautions, but we're not thinking, you know, in a, in a bigger way, right, of, okay, so she didn't have a, you know, grand baby shower at some restaurant, but then she had a baby shower at home, and then all these people came over and possibly exposed her to COVID. I'm Manny Ramos, PNAA board member, and I'm one of the co-hosts of Rise Up. And I'm Mindy Ofiana, PNAA Legislative Committee Chair, the other host of Rise Up. Both Manny and I have over 70 years combined experience in the nursing field, and we as Filipinos make up over 4% of the registered nurses in the United States. That is an amazing number. But a chilling number, Mindy, is that about 30% of Filipino nurses in the United States died from COVID-19. So true and sad, and that's a big part of why we wanted to do this podcast, to provide real stories and hear directly from the segment of the nursing field and other medical disciplines that often doesn't get to tell their stories. I beg, I said, please don't intubate me. I think I'll be fine. Just give me a few uh, days because I really don't feel like I'm short of breath, but my oxygen saturation is plummeting down to 85 every every time wow. I, I speak. Mm -hmm. And so I said, but I said, can you try something else? And they gave me this um, nitric oxide um, by a BiPAP mask. And uh -huh. I had that uh, twice a day. Uh -huh. I lasted for three days, but on the third on Sunday, uh, so I was admitted Thursday. On that Sunday, I was so tired, uh -huh. and I knew I knew then that I needed to be intubated. You know, talk to your medical team and make a sound decision because if you're able to help protect your babies, you know, without them having to directly get the vaccine because it's not offered to them yet, you know we might as well do it, you know, save, save the people around you because I didn't just do it for myself. I did it because our seven-year-old son, he is not able to get vaccinated as of uh, yet. You know, my, my mom, you know, she has comorbidity, she's older, I, I want to protect her. And of course my husband. And so it's truly a, a way to tell everybody that how much you love them and that you care for them. And we can do it all together if we, you know, look into it and make the right decisions for ourselves. We publish weekly in all formats, so please subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. We are on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. We also record a podcast in video form, so you can watch us on PNAA's YouTube channel or find our videos on PNAA's Facebook page. Let's rise up, and we will see you every week. Keep on rising!